What this message is about is Jesus challenging this, this rich young ruler in his, uh, in his ideas of what, um, what he's supposed to do to, to attain eternal life. Jesus answered, if you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor. You will have treasures in heaven to come. Then, fo- uh, then come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Again, I tell you, it is easier for the camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Now, this, when I was early in my Christian walk and I heard this camel going through the eye of a needle, obviously my imagination goes and this is what I come up with. (laughs) And I, you know, you start to think, is Jesus really serious? Like, but then you realize that Jesus, just like every one of us, uses hyperbole which is a $5 word for he uses, he exaggerates. He uses metaphors. He uses those kinds of things. And so what he's trying to do is drive home this point. What he could have said in another way is it's as impossible for a camel to go through the eye of a needle as it is for a man to save himself and attain eternity. Right? When you fall into a hole, can you just do this? Pull yourself out? No. No. But that's what sin does. It puts us into a hole that we can't pull ourselves out of. And the reality is it's a hole that our friends can't pull us out of. It's a really deep hole, guys. It stretches into eternity. And that lifeline that has come down from the cross to us, from Jesus, he's the one who's able to pull us out of that hole. And that's what he's trying to say. 